Today's video, we're going to talk about how to market your property more than you are now, get extra sales, so you could potentially double, triple the amount of rentals of your Airbnb Verbo property that you're trying to rent on a regular basis. This strategy that I'm going to share with you has nothing to do with Airbnb or Verbo itself. You're going to be able to advertise through Microsoft slash Bing advertising, which a lot of you guys are probably saying, huh? What the hell? Who the hell uses Bing itself? Bing.com being the search engine. And there's a ton, ton of people still using Bing instead of Google nowadays. 15% of the people that search using an internet browser or in a search engine are using Bing. And by the way, it's people that have the, mo the older individuals that have the most money because the people that buy a PC by default, Internet Explorer, and as a result of that, Bing is on the computer by default. People that don't know how to download Chrome or another browser are using Bing as a result of that. And so the people with the money, the older individuals that have most of the wealth, you can get in front of them via and with Microsoft Ads, which gets you through on uh, Bing, uh, advert on the Bing search engine when people are looking for a property near or like or with or what you offer to, uh, currently to your prospects that you want to sell a booking, a rental time slot to via Airbnb or Verbo right now. So I'm going to explain how this strategy specifically works, how you could execute on it. And then what are some tips on getting the absolute maximum you can out of it? Cause this is free extra bookings for your listings that you have right now that you're trying to get more bookings from today. So with that said, while Google, so like I said, this strategy has nothing to do with Verbo and Airbnb by itself. I mean, there's things you can do on those platforms to get more bookings, sure. Updating titles, descriptions, doing different stuff like that. But the problem, main problem with it is, if you don't have a totally unique offer, you're battling it out you know, with all the other people that have a property in your general vicinity of where you're offering it at. And, you know, it's hard to differentiate yourself sometimes. A good way to differentiate yourself when you're running a business, any type of business, is to actually, of course, change the offer. But when you're kind of stuck on that front, it's to change where you're advertising. So you're what they call advertising in a vacuum. You're not advertising where everybody else is. You're finding out where everybody in your niche, if you will, is not advertising and advertise there because people aren't going to be able to say, well, you know, this option over here versus this option is cheaper, so I'm going to go with that one. You can actually be the only option where they're searching and as a result be able to sell what you have for more and not have to be, be physically better, if you will, to be able to sell to the prospects in your market. And as it comes to people looking for a vacation rental, the main places that they would obviously outside search for that versus uh, outside of the uh, vacation rental platforms like Airbnb and Verbo itself is on Google and furthermore as an extension of that Bing because people go to Google and they type in vacation rentals, you know, name of city or whatnot. Same thing on Bing as an extension of that. And then they start their journey out that way. You could tap into this action directly. Yes, technically through some other ways on Google, but through Bing and do it in a way such as you don't have to pay anything at all unless you actually get a booking, which is unlike, you know, having a website and trying to SEO it, which obviously there's no guarantee that that necessarily will work. Google has, when, and when somebody's looking, because there's certain people that are looking for a vacation listing, right? There's people that look for a hotel. You could get people that are looking for a hotel to buy your vacation listing if you just show up in the same place. That's what this strategy I'm telling you here is about. And on Google, if you're searching for a hotel on Google and you want to show up in the very top of Google where there's hotel listings and on the map there on Google search results and on the you know uh, Google hotel listings themselves, you got to have an actual hotel. However, Bing slash Microsoft Microsoft being the one that owns Bing and lets you run ads through Bing search engine, they don't actually have 
this restriction, you could get your vacation rental in front of people who are looking for a hotel. So you just, you know, as they're scrolling, they're not looking for a vacation rental, but they see yours, it looks interesting, it looks, you know, decent, they go ahead and check it out. And then maybe you catch a certain percentage of those. If they check it out and they don't buy, you're still not out of anything because you don't have to pay unless you get a booking. And you only have to pay a certain percentage of your booking in terms of fees, just like Airbnb and Verbo do, do it. So though while Google allows hotels to advertise on hotel listings on Google Maps and so forth via the Google search results, Microsoft slash Bing ads let you advertise on the Bing Maps via the Bing search results. So if they're looking for, let's say, hotels in Las Vegas, you could show up on, you know, the, there's a map that shows up on the Bing search results with all the different hotels and hotel listings there. You can actually show up directly on that map with your vacation rental listing because they just opened this up somewhat recently and not a lot of, that's why I said this is a new non-competitive strategy because not many people that you are competing against in your local market know about this strategy yet. And for that matter, they don't understand what pay-per-click marketing is. Uh, they want, they don't know much about marketing at all, which is why they're mainly relying maybe on Airbnb or Verbo, not necessarily everybody, but they want to not take a risk. They just want guaranteed income. Pay, I'll pay a percentage of, the booking fee, give me that particular, you know, give me that booking. They're not looking at Bing ads, you know, Google ads themselves. So you in your market could be certainly the only entire one in your entire local geographic market where your property is located doing this. So, and with that, there isn't really a better prospect that you could get your vacation rental in front of than somebody searching via a search res on a search engine or on Bing specifically here as the person searching for like hotels in Las Vegas that person's very 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 likely to buy if not from you from somebody else it's even more likely that they would buy in that case than if they went to Airbnb and Verbo directly because a lot of people go to Airbnb and Verbo to just kind of browse oh maybe I'll go on a vacation at a certain point Maybe I'll go here, maybe I'll go there. You're actually, if you're actually searching hotels in Las Vegas on Google, yes, some people may be certainly just browsing, but it's less. So as far as all the places you could advertise, so to say, unless you had pre-existing knowledge that somebody already had, you know, booked their flight or what have you, can get in front of those people, which there's ways to do that. Maybe I'll do a video about that separately because you can have an ad literally show up for somebody who's already booked a, a plane flight to a certain location, which is, that's, that's very, very good. Outside of that is somebody looking for a hotel directly on the search engines. Then I would say Air, v, Verbo Airbnb search engine on these, the Airbnb and Verbo sites. And so you're getting a super high intent user that's gonna be buying. And there's a certain percentage of the market that's gonna be traveling to, your, to, to the location where your property is, you're gonna be able to get an extra percentage. You can take your Airbnb and verbal listing and from those sites get a certain amount of bookings, but you can multiply what you can get by being on the search engines because that has you know, a little bit, even a little bit better user and it has people that are never gonna to go to Airbnb and Verbo itself. A, because they're not looking for a vacation listing, but B, because they don't like those sites to begin with. And like I said before, the benefit, the other side benefit, other than it's just going to multiply the amount of bookings you can get on a regular basis with basically no risk to you, they're not going to be able to cross compare you like they are on Verbo uh, or Airbnb. They're not going to be able to instantly see you lined up side by side like it's a meat market, your price versus the other guy's price and so forth. Yes, you're going to show up next to the hotels, but the hotels obviously, as you know, are generally going to be higher priced and you're certainly not going to show up against next to any other vacation listings, vacation home listings, if you will. N there's no guarantee, no other vacation home listings will be there. Maybe this will change over time. For now, you'll basically probably be the only one in your little local geographic market. So there's definitely big benefits to doing this. So all you need to do is go start up a Microsoft advertising account to do this and start up a hotel campaign and then 
once you've done that, okay, you, the main thing that you've got to decide is your so-called bidding strategy. You can bid a certain percentage of your booking price as for such, you know, what you will pay to get that booking. So if you sell your booking at $100 a night, you can tell Microsoft, I'm willing to pay $10 for every $100 booking I get. And then their algorithm is going to try to have you show up on the, the Bing map in places where they think they can get you a booking itself at a, you know, where it's mostly relevant to their users. They're not going to show you nationwide to everybody because it would cost Bing a lot of money and it would also make a bad experience for people searching on Bing. But using all their pre-existing uh, pre knowledge about who buys what on the Bing maps itself for all the hotel listings that people have booked in the past via their map listings or map listing, if, if you will, they're going to put you where they think most people would buy your listing, if you will. And then you'll, the bookings will just start coming in. And they, if they realize that most people don't want your booking when they're so, you know, they're, they're beyond 10 miles from the location of your booking, they'll, you'll, they'll have you start show, uh, stop showing up there, if you will, to give you one example. So they use all their pre-existing knowledge of past bookings from the maps platform and, and, and listings there to find out where you should be placed, if you will. You could just simply do that and get a few extra bookings and, that, and just be happy with that. If you want 10 times more bookings than that, then I recommend you invest a little bit more money into the system, at least up front, to get the engine primed. And what I mean by that is, instead of the bidding strategy you choose being a, where you're going to pay a percentage of the stay price, i.e. Pay, I'll pay $10 for a $100 uh, nightly booking, if you will, for every booking that you get, I'll get, you know, I'll pay $10. Start out by using a manual, what they call manual CPC or uh, you're, you're paying per click. So instead of paying per booking, you're paying for a simple click on your ad. And that may seem risky to you, certainly. For the most part, it can be risky, but you're not going to get as many bookings simply going on a per stay bidding model because like I said before, they're only going to put you in places where it, it to, to Microsoft, it's a, it's, it's a safe bet to think that if they place you there, they're going to get a booking at a reasonably high rate from the people they show your booking, to, your, your property to. There's other places where you could easily get a booking, but they're not going to show you there because they're going to basically just put you into this box. Oh, you look like this. We'll show you to this many people. And then that's it. If they want, you want them to try to show you here and here and here, try you out different places which some of them will work, some of them will not, you can force the system to start showing you up in other places where you would get bookings, but the system isn't going to show you in the first place because they, they don't think it's going to work there by going with the per click model, bidding at a reasonably high cost per click, and then getting some bookings through the system that way so that the algorithm can learn, oh, we didn't realize when somebody's looking for a tree house, <laughs> you know, hotel or whatever, just from random, you know, uh, example that we should show, have you show up on the map versus not or whatnot. So what I would recommend to you is start with the manual bidding for the first hundred bookings, then switch to your per stay bidding so that the system figures out some things about your business that they wouldn't have figured out otherwise if you just went straight to the per stay bidding itself. So they, they may think that like I said, as an example before, if somebody types in Las Vegas hotels, that by and large, if the person's 10 miles, you know, outside of, you know, the strip or whatever, that, you know, other hotels, it, you know, that they've shown in the past haven't gotten a high book rate. So they're not going to have you have a high book rate, but you're different and you would be able to get a higher booking rate than your, the other hotels that did show before. If the system were to just show you by bidding high, uh, Bing is going to want to show you in more places than they had before because they have financial incentive too. And if you have a low bid rate in those places, they aren't going to show you there for long, but at least they'll try you out in more places if you get my drift here. So you're going to force the system, whereas 
There was not a lot of financial incentive to try you out in a bunch of places because they're probably not going to work anyway, according to them. You're going to give them the incentive to try you out in different places. If some will work, some will not. And then they'll find out a bunch more stuff about your business, about your properties and who they're good for. They just simply wouldn't have found out otherwise. And then as a result, long term, you're going to make 10 times as many bookings through this Bing Maps placement that you're going to get through your Microsoft Ads account than you would have got otherwise. That's my main point I'm trying to get across to you. So you, with your manual bidding, you may have to lose money on each booking or a little bit of money, we'll just say, to, to build up some data inside your account because the whether you show up on a map or not is all based upon machine learning, their ad algorithm. You're paying for the ad algorithm to learn what works and what doesn't work for your particular listing. And then once you've built up that data, you then now are gonna monetize that data. A lot of people think advertising on these search engines are like a switch. They turn it on and it either works or it doesn't. It's like a magazine ad and that's not at all, it's a complete opposite actually of that. Every booking you get helps the system get you another booking. And every person who clicked your listing and did not book, they know the issue that ultimately doesn't normally uh, work it for a person like that. So the more bookings you get, the more profitable your campaign that you're running can get because the system knows more about the type of people and what they search for that will normally book through you versus not. And so not only the type of searches they're making, but you know, who they are as a person, their age, their gender, you know, what time of the day they're searching, what day of the week they're searching, and on and on and on and on. So they start databasing all this information about each person that comes through your, their, your listing that clicked through and then ended up booking from you to find out the type of people that are a home run prospect for that, that normally would really, really prefer to stay with you versus the hotels that you're ultimately showing up against next to in your market. So, oh, and then just to tie this in full circle here, they may find out that within 10 miles of the strip, your listing would normally work for the people as a whole. But after 100 bookings that you have, they find out that if it's the person's female and they're over uh, 65 years of age searching, you could get a decent booking rate up to 20 miles from the strip. And then they'll start showing you up to 20 miles away specifically for females over 65 and so forth. So that's an example of what you're gonna be paying for in the beginning if you, you go with the manual bidding. To give, being, shock the system, get shown in more places that ultimately you, that would work, that they're gonna go out and find out if they, that they ultimately wouldn't have took the risk of figuring out if they, you didn't give them the financial incentive to doing so. So anyway, just some extra information of what to know about this. If you're really tight on money, you just go with the pay per stay right away and you start making money. Potentially, you're gonna save part of the profit you're making and then eventually go to this manual bidding so you can take things to the next level. Or if you're sitting pretty now, start with the manual bidding, get 100 bookings, then switch to the per stay because you're gonna have 10 times more bookings from this platform here and this strategy here than you're gonna get with the only using per stay itself right from the beginning. So with that said, I'll wrap it up with that. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I have a ton of other videos on this channel about other marketing, online advertising and marketing strategies. If you wanna learn how to build your business real well, this is the channel for you and you should, you should consider subscribing. If you liked the video, I'd appreciate it if you would give the video a like. I also have a marketing service that we take on companies that we believe in. And with that, we don't charge fees to our clients up front at all. We only charge a fee to our clients once we've raised your sales a minimum amount. So if you're looking for a contingency-based advertising agency that can take your stuff on, build ads for your company, get you more bookings, or whatever you're trying to do in your business as a whole, contact us, we'll give you a free analysis and we'll tell you how much more sales we can bring your organization. And at least at that point in time, you'll know what you can do. And if you wanna work with us, we'll do all the work up front no cost to you up front. And you only have to pay us once you're making more profit in your company enough to pay us in the first place. So it really, really costs you nothing to work with us when you think about it from that angle. Of course, you have to have something decent to work with. If all you're lacking is good marketing, but you have everything else set up well, we wanna hear from you because those are the type of companies we're trying to work with. So 
be happy to look into what we can do for you. And then for that matter, if you're not looking to work with a marketing agency per se, we have campaign templates that work for dozens and dozens and dozens of different industries and markets. So if we've worked in your market before for a company like yours before, such as in the uh, vacation, vacation booking industry, we can get you the templates that work for your market already. And uh, you can use those to just make money without having to do much of the work at all to get those results. We've done all the work, so you don't have to. And so we can literally copy paste results into your account through having the right templates, the right landing pages and so, and so forth. So reach out to me if you're interested in that as well. If you have any questions about anything I covered today, leave me a comment below. I get back to every single person who leaves me a comment on this channel, usually within a couple of days time. If you want to have any other questions you would like to ask about your marketing, your advertising, feel free to also leave me a comment. I get back to everybody who asked me a question. I'd like to, I love to be able to help my viewers here, but that said, I'll wrap it up with that. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in my next video where we have another great strategy for you to use then. See you later.